I'm going to try and convince you that you belong to a family you don't know about. But first, I need to explain the difference between human families and evolutionary families. Because studying evolution is really all about studying families, trying to work out who's most closely related to who, and which ancestors were the first to show traits that they passed on to their descendants. And both kinds of families can be organised into trees, but those family trees actually work pretty differently. Human family trees are all about combination. I have two parents, two families that came together to create me. But when we think about evolution, it mostly involves splitting apart. If you picture the famous tree of life, all the creatures on earth spreading outwards from a single trunk, the branches split, but they can never come together again. Two branches can never fuse back into one. And yet, in reality, they sort of can. One example of this is something called lichen, which is the mossy, mouldy stuff that you can find growing on old wood or stone that sometimes looks like chewing gum stepped into the pavement. Lichens might look like one living thing, but most are actually a fungus body housing a collection of algal cells. Two separate branches of life come together to create one creature. And there's no fungus in the world that can photosynthesize, harvesting energy from sunlight. No ancestors of fungus ever managed that. But lichen can, because it's not just a fungus, it's an algae as well. It belongs to both families. And the interesting thing is, lichen isn't that unusual. There are lots of creatures that live so closely together that they blur the lines between individuals. Some jellyfish, corals, sea anemones, all keep algae inside their bodies, just like lichen. And I study the human gut microbiome, which is the community of bacteria that lives inside the human gut. We're certainly not as closely connected to them as the two halves of lichen, but we're also not totally separate, because there are kinds of complicated sugars that you can find in onions, beans, all sorts of vegetables, that human evolution never figured out how to digest. Just like you can say that no fungus can photosynthesize, it's fair to say that no human can properly digest an onion. And yet, you can. You can eat an onion and digest it properly, because the bacteria in your gut do the hard work for you. If you think of yourself as a person who can digest an onion, that person isn't made of entirely human parts. So, there was some bacteria, somewhere in the distant past, that figured out a new way to feed itself by breaking those tricky sugars apart. And now its descendants do that inside your body every day. We think they give you 10% of your energy, keeping your mind racing, your lungs pumping, your heart beating. If you want to look back through the tree of life to find the origins of your lifestyle, you can't just look at the human branch, back through the apes and mammals and fish, because you won't find everything there that makes you, you. That's only one side of your family. Bacteria are the other. Thank you.